Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video will be a huge thrift haul. So these are some pieces from the last couple of months of thrifting that maybe you guys haven't seen before or that you have seen and I just really wanted to style. There are a few pieces in here that are a bit different and not my usual style so I'm really excited to show you guys what I got. Let's start off with this classic black dress. I think that everyone should have a little black dress that fits them flawlessly and I think that this is mine. It's a super light material with a really flattering sweetheart neckline and a bow detail on the neckline as well. I'm pairing it with my snake belt to help enhance how cinched it makes my waist and then I'm adding my favorite boots. I always have to have like a pop of color or a pop of red specifically so I'm adding this little mini bag as well. This dress is so simple, so easy to style, I've already worn it a few times, it's so comfortable, I just love it. Next up, I'm actually gonna show you a bunch of items that were given to me by my mom. Um, she saves all of her clothes from the 2000s, so thank you, mom, for doing that. First up is this red wool jacket. I love how it looks like a cropped trench coat, has this really big floppy collar. Um, the collar actually sits up as well to almost look like it's a turtleneck. I feel like this is something someone would wear in Star Wars though, so I'm not really sure if I like this style. I think I'm just gonna keep the collar flat. Next one is an actual trench coat and thank god my mom's favorite color is red because I'm actually obsessed with all of these pieces. Um, this coat is a little bit big on me and it does have some shoulder pads in it but I'm honestly not mad. I think that it's the perfect length and it looks so cool with all the buttons and metal details. She also gave me another trench coat in black. I actually don't know if this still counts as a trench coat, but anyway, this is probably my favorite thing my mom has given to me in general. The fit of it is so perfect. It honestly could double as a dress in itself. It's just so simple and chic. It's exactly what I've been wanting to thrift lately. And now that the weather is getting colder, it will be such an amazing addition to my wardrobe. And I could totally imagine wearing it if I went to Europe or something like that. Speaking of pieces that just perfectly fit me, this silk dress was my mom's favorite when she was younger and I can see why. It is so comfortable, so elegant though at the same time. I really love the ribbon details on the shoulders that can tie up into these little bows. I'll have to find an excuse to wear this out soon. This last piece that my mom gave me is this button-up shirt and I'm gonna be pairing it with these super long black pants that I thrifted recently. This top perfectly suits the office core vibe I've been kind of like dabbling in recently and these pants are just so comfortable. I've worn them to a few jobs, a few house inspections. Even though they are really long on me, I've just been wearing them with my platforms and yeah, they're just super comfortable and this shirt is really, really cool. I also thrifted a pair of these skinny Y2K glasses and yes, the prescription in these makes me slightly nauseous, but that's okay because it really does pull the whole outfit together. Next item are these black leather calf length boots. I love them even though the left boot is missing its zipper, so I have to use a safety pin to get them on and off. I'm pairing this with a school dress that I thrifted. I know it's kind of weird, but I've had this type of dress on my Pinterest board for a while now and I think that I can make it look less like a uniform and more just like a cute, fun dress. An idea that I had was to add some ribbon under the bust area to give it more shape, but I think that for today, I'm gonna leave it the way that it is. Anyway, so yeah, I added these boots. Um, lately, I've really been obsessed with like wearing juxtaposing styles together, like really girly feminine things with more masculine or alternative pieces. So I'm gonna be doing that here. I'm also accessorizing to try and distract from this being a school uniform. <laughs> Okay, another school uniform item. I actually thrifted a few of them this month and I'm gonna be wearing it with this bedazzled goth cross necklace that I am just in love with. And then just a plain black button up top. I've been trying to find a pleated maxi skirt with a plaid print for so long. So when I found this school pinafore, um, I ended up just separating the skirt from the top part and now I just have this really adorable plaid skirt. I've added a different pair of Y2K glasses, but I don't really think that these suit me as much as the other ones, but you know, the outfit still slays. And this is the last uniform item and y'all, oh my god, I posted a photo of this skirt on Instagram and my friend told me that it was her school uniform. Like, what? She lives over an hour away from me, so how the hell did I find this? 
Anyway, it was a bit too big on me, so I cut it up and just pinned it back together with random pins that I had. I feel like it was kind of giving that like grungy Vivian Westwood vibe. I don't know. I also thrifted some pinstripe pants and I feel like maybe I should wear these two together. This would be my first time styling pants under a skirt, but unfortunately it didn't really work. I think if it was like a super micro mini skirt, it would have looked better, but this was just awkward. Instead, I'm going to style this skirt with a Slipknot shirt that I thrifted. Oh my God, I was so excited when I found this because I'm always manifesting band merch and I didn't have any for Slipknot until I found this one. It is a smaller fit, but I'm just gonna tie it at the back to make it kind of like cropped. I'm pairing this outfit with my knee high boots and then a big leather bag. And this is super cute, really comfy. I could wear this anywhere. Next up is this white skirt. Now it is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but again, I wanna kind of contrast dark and light pieces, so I picked it up anyway. The thing about this skirt is that I didn't get to try it on in the thrift store and I didn't realize how see-through it is. And it is just way too tight, which makes it even more see-through. So I may end up putting this up on Depop or just giving it away or something. This piece was given to me by my dad. It is a genuine merch piece from the 2007 Nine Inch Nails show that he got to go to. I'm totally not jealous at all. Anyway, it is the perfect oversized fit. The material is really, really soft despite it being 17 years old. I'd probably wear it with a maxi skirt like this velvet tiered one that I thrifted. It has this braided leather around the waist, which is a really cool detail. Real quick, it has gotten so bright in this corner of the room now, so I'm just gonna put my blinds down. Anyway, this is a classic outfit for me. It is so comfortable and casual and I obviously really love this shirt so thank you to my dad for that. Next is another adorable feminine item that I will be styling to be a bit more alternative. I recently wore a super cute outfit with this dress and then did corpse paint to kind of balance out the adorableness of it. What I love about this dress is that it has like a really nice open neck for accessories. I have my little ugly grandma bag, but then I also have my big black boots as well. Also the back is a little bit low, which shows off my tattoo, which is always a bonus. This piece is one of my favorites that I thrifted this month, but I didn't realize until now that it doesn't quite fit me right. It's just too big and I'm not a huge fan of the way that the neck sits, but I'm gonna try and work around it so that I can keep it because it is just such a pretty gothic piece. I'm using the snake belt again to cinch in the waist and the snake hardware honestly works with this dress so well. To make it more witchy, I'm putting my knee high boots on again, as well as this gothic cross necklace. I also have my little bag and you know what? I'm really happy with this. I really didn't want to get rid of this dress and because I've been able to work around it being bigger, I think that I will actually wear it now. Okay, so it is the next day because I forgot I had a couple more items to show you guys. But one piece I've been obsessed with lately is this just perfect jumper, in my opinion. This is like the epitome of an elevated basic because it is just a really normal, plain, well-fitted black sweater. But then the sleeves flare out and they have these silver grommets that I threaded some ribbon through. And now it's one of my favorite pieces ever. So this is a joint custody item with Bo. He thrifted it, but I've worn it more than him. I put the belt buckle onto just like a plain black leather belt. And now it's just a really cool accessory that elevates any basic outfit. The last item that I will show you guys is this structured red corset. It has like a few sheer panels on it and it has this thin boning and underwire that just like keeps you all, you know, together. It sits right above my hips. So I thought that I would wear a maxi skirt and have it sitting a little bit lower. I think that I would also wear this like over the top of a dress or um, I'd wear like a mesh long sleeve under this just to add more layering and make some more basic pieces a bit more interesting. So that was the last piece and it does bring us to the end of the video. If you liked the video, let me know in the comments and if you liked me then subscribe to my channel thank you guys all so much for watching and subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye yeah.